Since starting my long form content this past October, we've covered a lot of ground with videos on lots of different topics and a lot of information to absorb. Today, we're going to see how much of that information has stuck with a quiz. There's 22 questions because 22 is my favorite number. My birthday is March 22nd, very basic favorite number. And they're questions related to any of the 11 long form videos that I've put out so far. Are you ready? Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. This is a multiple choice quiz. I'll put the question and the possible answers on screen. I'll give you five seconds to choose your answer. So pause the video if you need more time. And then I'm going to give you the answer when the time is up. I'm not going to do that. Save all the answers until the end bullshit. I'm going to give it to you straight. I would love if you decide to keep track of your score so that I can know what you got in the comments at the end of the video. All right, let's get started with question one. The scientific name of the spider tailed horn viper is Pseudocerastes eurorachnoides. What does Pseudocerastes mean? A. Viper. B. False viper. C. Horned. D. False horned. The answer is D. False horned. Pseudo means fake. Sorostes means having horns. Pseudo Sorostes, fake horns. Number two. What is the difference between a centipede and a millipede? Generally, the general difference. A. Centipedes have one pair of legs per segment. Millipedes have two pairs of legs per segment. B. Centipedes have a hundred legs and millipedes have a thousand legs. C. Centipedes have a hundred legs. Millipedes have a million legs. Or D. Millipedes have one pair of legs per segment and centipedes have two pairs of legs per segment. The answer is A, pretty straightforward. So I don't really have anything else to say about it. Number three, there's only one millipede species that we know of that holds true to its name. and has the highest number of legs in the animal kingdom. How many legs does it have? A, about 11,000. B, about 150. C, about 1,300. Or D, about a million. The answer is C, about 1,300. The scientific name is Eumillipes persephone and has about 1,306 legs on 330 body segments. It was found in December of 2021 in, you guessed it, <laughs> Number four, what whale species holds the record for the deepest dive? A, the sperm whale. B, Cuvier's beaked whale. C, blue whale. Or D, dwarf, sperm, whale. The answer is B, Cuvier's beaked whale. Their deepest dive ever recorded was nearly 10,000 feet below the surface of the ocean and was about three hours and 42 minutes long. They held their breath for three hours and 42 minutes long. Number five, Pachycetus is the oldest cetacean we have evidence of. Where was it initially found? A, Pakistan. B, Argentina. C, Australia. Or D, Mongolia. The answer is A, Pakistan. Pakistanis means Pakistan whale. Number six, the ankle bone that connects the cetacean lineage to ungulates is called the A, single pulley astragalus, B, double pulley astragalus, C, single pulley involucrum, or D, double pulley involucrum. The answer is B, the double pulley astragalus. Most mammals have a single pulley astragalus, while ungulates uniquely have the double pulley astragalus. And the cetacean lineage has the double pulley astragalus. The involucrum was that ear bone that connects the prehistoric transitional fossils to modern cetaceans. Number seven, what is a rat king? A, a leech or a mooch. B, when groups of rats get tangled together at the tails. C, a metaphor for royalty feeding off of the working class. Or D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above. The rat king biologically, of course, is B, when rats get tangled together at the tails, but it's also been used as metaphors for a leech or royalty working off of the working class. So that was kind of a trick question. Number eight, the largest rat king ever found had how many rats in it? A, 12 rats. B, 64 rats. C, 32 rats. Or D, 59 rats. The answer is C, 32 rats. It was found in 1828 in Germany in a small town in somebody's chimney and is now on display at a museum in Germany. Number nine, what is axial bifurcation? A, the incomplete splitting of an embryo. B, the rearrangement of the spine during juvenile development. C, the fusion of embryos after birth. Or D, the attraction to more than one gender. The answer is A, the incomplete splitting of an embryo. And that is from the two-headed snakes video in the case of polycephaly, the condition of having multiple heads. Number 10, the oldest known case of a two-headed animal dates to approximately A, 66 million years ago, B, 541 million years ago, C, 73 million years ago, or D, 150 million years ago. 
The answer is D, about 150 million years ago. It was a Champsosaur fossil found in China back in 2006. Number 11, the Tully monster is arguably one of the weirdest extinct animals ever discovered. When were they alive? A, the Cambrian period about 500 million years ago. B, the Carboniferous period about 300 million years ago. C, the Permian period about 260 million years ago. Or D, the Jurassic period about 200 million years ago. The answer is, oh. The answer is B, the Carboniferous period about 300 million years ago. Number 12, what is cryptobiosis? A, the state of an organism when it shows no visible signs of life in response to unfavorable environmental conditions. B, the term for the evolutionary transition from land to water. C, the process used to determine the chemical makeup of fossilized tissues. Or D, the process of digging up coins from the ground. The answer is A. I don't really want to repeat it. It was long. But that's what tardigrades, rotifers, nematodes, and other organisms use when conditions are not very nice. Number 13. The longest verified time an animal has spent in a cryptobiotic state is A. 32,000 years. B. 24,000 years. C. 41,000 years. Or D. 16,000 years. The answer is B, 24,000 years. The title belongs to a rotifer that scientists dug up from Siberian permafrost back in 2011. Nope, 2021. Scientists allowed it to thaw out, started moving around, reproducing, and eating absolutely bananas. Number 14, what species of squid has the largest eyes in the animal kingdom? A, the Dana octopus squid. B, the colossal squid. C, the big fin squid. Or D, the Humboldt squid. The answer is B. The colossal squid. Their eyes can get to about a foot long. They're also the largest squid by mass that we know of. Number 15. Which species of squid has the largest light producing organs of any animal that we know of? A. The Dana octopus squid. B. The colossal squid. C. Big fin squid. Or D. Humboldt squid. The answer is A, the Dana octopus squid. Those organs are called photophores, like the lights of lures on anglerfish. And on the Dana octopus squid, they're fucking huge. Number 16, Toxodon and Macrochania were both alive during the Pleistocene, and were both ungulates. What continent were they found on? A, Africa. B, Australia. C, Asia. Or D, South America. The answer is D, South America. Along with some giant ground sloths, glyptodonts, and terror birds, which some of you pointed out I neglected completely in the iceberg video. I have a subconscious bias towards mammals that I'm still working through. I apologize, I'll make it up to you. But yeah, they were alive in South America. Number 17, how many toes did the short-faced kangaroo have on each foot? A, one, B, two, C, three, or D, four. The answer is A, one. One single toe on each foot. Clearly, I'm still not over that. I don't think I ever will. What the fuck is up with that? All right, number 18 is a true or false. The dark blob present on one end of hallucinogenia fossils was determined to be the head. The answer is false. The head ended up being on the opposite side, which was initially thought to be the tail end, and the dark blob end might be fluids that leaked out of hallucinogenia as it died or after it died. Number 19. Of the worms we've talked about, which are known for their regenerative capabilities? A. Ribbon worms. B. Hammerhead worms. C. Both of the above. Or D. Bristle worms. The answer is C, both of the above, hammerhead worms and ribbon worms. Number 20, a proboscis is defined as an elongated nose or snout in A, vertebrates, B, invertebrates, C, both vertebrates and invertebrates, or D, none of the above. The answer is A, vertebrates. In invertebrates, a proboscis is a tubular mouth part used for sucking or feeding. Number 21, the largest bristle worm can get to A, 10 feet long, B, 100 feet long, C, potentially up to 200 feet long, or D, 4 feet long. The answer is A, 10 feet long. This was kind of a trick question. The largest bristle worm is the bobbit worm that can get to 10 feet long, but there was another worm in that same video that got potentially to much longer, the ribbon worm, the bootlace worm, that can get to potentially 200 feet long, but they are too stretchy to accurately measure. And number 22, when was hallucinogenia alive? A, the Cambrian period about 500 million years ago. B, the Carboniferous period about 300 million years ago. C, the Permian period about 260 million years ago. Or D, the Jurassic period about 200 million years ago.
The answer is A, the Cambrian period about 500 million years ago. And that is the end of our quiz. Give yourself a round of applause. If you've been keeping track of your scores, please let me know what you got in the comments because I'm very interested to know. And let me know what you think of this kind of video, if I should continue doing quizzes like this or not. I do quizzes on my Instagram story occasionally, and I figured it would be interesting to see how it plays out in long form content. As I mentioned in my introduction video, I'm gonna be messing around with a couple different video formats, different kinds of videos to diversify what I'm doing on this channel. This is one of the simpler kinds I had in mind. And I have other cool stuff planned for a couple months from now. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And so you can be here for my next long form video coming out next week. You can keep up with my daily short form content on TikTok and Instagram. And for now, stay curious. The world has a lot for us to learn. See ya!